And hello there everyone, it's King Hedgehog here and welcome to Colony Survival. It's um, a voxel based Minecraft kind of like game um, with also a big focus on building a colony and actually making sure that your colonists uh, survive. And of course in the night there's those little touches towards seven days to die because there's zombies walking around. And what else could I pick to replace a zombie game than a game with zombies? So we're going to start off a new world. It's going to be called um, the Empire. If I remember how to spell it, it's always a problem. The Empire for the World Seed. I'm going to go with uh, the 9th of October 2020, which is the day my son, our son was born, because vaguely enough, my wife claims that she had something to do with it. There we go. Now, beautiful world. Um, It's a voxel-based world, and the monsters, the zombies, are in the first... Well, they only start showing up once you have the first colonists. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go down and let's see that we find ourselves a nice location. There. Now, there's some water there and there. Um, that looks like a little bit of flatland. So let's see that we make our way there. Don't drop too far because we will be breaking our ankles. Look at that. Now, I think this is a nice location. We have uh, water, we have the sand, we have um, grasslands here and gives us a nice bit of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this out, going to create some space where we can actually um, start building our colony. And then I'm going to wait for the night to pass because nighttime cycles are really fast here, um, which means... I don't want to start putting down any beds and getting colonists before we have passed the first night. So we have a full day's time to get things ready for, for the zombies. So the thing I want to do is I want to get a moat around pretty much our entire base. So I'm going to start off with a 9x9 nine nine block. And I'm going to eventually remove that and turn it into brick. And I'm pretty sure that we'll be making it bigger. But for now we need to start somewhere and I'd rather start somewhere that is manageable. Now with a 9x9 nine nine, we always have a middle. And that is one, two, I think here. Nope. Here. Does that look like middle? That looks like middle to me. All right. Now, the reason why I check is because I will be digging out these ones, but I will be putting in these ones again because we are not yet at the stage where I don't even know if we're going to get drawbridges or anything like that. So for now... I'm literally just dealing with whatever it is that we have. Um, the monsters in the night, they can only jump one block. At least I think they can jump. 
Now, that ought to give me uh, enough space for the basic mode. I think that's the other beauty of it, because we have the torches out already, at least I can work in the night. Now, if we would have had colonists, uh, we would now be busy dealing with um, monsters, zombies, whatever you want to call them, instead of preparing our actual base. So, as soon as we hit sunlight, we can actually start building. Now, I haven't played this game a lot. I just uh, tested it a little bit so I know a little bit what I'm doing. So, do not quote me on anything. Don't assume that what I'm doing is the correct thing, because I don't know. I am by all means no expert. All right, let's get a block out here. All right, look at that. Now, we have a little island. Um... I'm not sure if this soil is going to be good for anything or not. I just don't want the zombies to only fall in there and then try to damage something. I'm not sure if they can. But I'd rather give them uh, not the ability to do what I just did and that's jump over. Alright, so with that done, um, I can now start looking to create the next step. And for that, I'm going to have to start here. Here. And that's the one we like. Now, I think these ones still have to go. And here we are literally on our way down to find ore. And the two things that we need as ore is copper and zinc. Wow, I need to go deep here. All right, now let's make a little bit of a ditch in there. Put a torch in there so we can actually see a little bit more. Yeah, we're getting pretty deep already. But it should start to change color hopefully soon and give us some ores. There we go. That is the ore we're looking for. Nice. All right, so how this works is... Um, oh, and there we also have a zinc. Um, I can place colonists on top of these and they will do the mining for us. The only problem is, as soon as we hire a colonist to do it, we need to feed them. But it kind of is like a must. Um, Alright, so let's get the command tool open. We want a miner. Doesn't really matter which direction, that is one there for that one there for that and i think that's pretty much it now i am going to remove these two there. so he has the ability to get up there then in my crafting menu i can make these stairs blocks don't know how many i'm going to need i know that i'm going to drop these ones in there and then the arrow needs to be towards here Now, and because it is on our little island, I do not need to have additional guards. Thank you. Because it will be dealt with by our regular guards. So I can now remove these and I will put this down as well. And I'm going to replace them by the bricks. Here, now I still have 57 in store, which is always good. Just making sure that we have um, a nice wall here protecting them. Now, 
Now, let's get that on there and let's get the torches straight here on the outside. One there and one here. Let's also put that already right here. Because the torches and the light are going to be very important. We need to be able to see what's going on around there. Here. Now, I'm probably going to make the moat a third lane, maybe even a fourth one. Um, just to make sure that it is seen as big enough. And this is then the only entrance way that they have. Which means I also need to see that we get this nice and strong. Up, up, out, and about. One and two. Thank you very much. Now let's get the torches on you as well. Here and here. I'm going to say torch on either side of the entrance, but... Uh, we don't have an entrance yet. Now we do. Actually, I don't need it on either side of the entrance. I can just bang one right above. That. So here we have our beautiful entrance. Now I'm out of stone. Well, brick. Stone bricks. Whatever you want to call them. Um, here. Now, and even with all the mining that we do or can do already... Now, don't jump too far. Um, this is the easiest way to get stone bricks. And we can also put a miner on it. He will get it for us, which is also very nice. But that's going to cost us food, and that is something we don't have yet. Look at that. Now, we already have 70 bricks again, which means we can continue to build. Um, I do want to replace these ones now as well, there and there, and put this there. Which basically is their little walkway. So let's remove this. Here. Alright, so the only way to get in there now is through there. And I do need to make a way up there. Because this is also where I'm going to be sending my guard. Here. Now, as far as I know, this game does not have structural stability, which I'm very happy with because I've had enough collapses in seven days for now. Okay, so with these ones going down, um, I should be able to make, can I get down there, looks like, can I steal or, no, now I'm going to bang my head, which means I need one more space. That should be fine. So if I then have it like that, we can get up here and we can get down there. Yes. Awesome. So then we turn a few more into these. Let's get those ones down there and you can go here in the general stockpile. All right. Now, we do need to get a little bit more in bricks. Mm -hmm. All we also need to do is uh, not drop down there. Yep. 
And that's where we run out. Yes. All right. So I need to make sure that we keep this free. Don't need yet. There and you there. Then. You there. So we have to step in and out. All right. All right. He's slowly this place starts to look like a house already and we don't even have our first colonist yet. I mean at least we're turning it into a, a nice place for them to straight away come home. Now we do need more stone. So I'm up skipping down here again. Um let's get this in hand. Let's Wow. So bright. Yep, it's going to be really a nice place when we are done. Now, I do need more uh, bricks um, for downstairs in a moment. Um, first things, though, I'm going to have to make us a couple of beds. Um, I'm going to start off with one downstairs in a mine to get us bricks. I need one scientist. I need one on food. And I think that is it for now. So let's stick with the four and I'm going to give them all four a bed right up here for now mm. or or what I of course could do is I mean nobody said that their bedrooms had to be above the ground right and I need stone anyways. Look at that. That is one. That is two. Alright. So we bang that one right down there. Now I'm going to remove the minor jobs. And because I would rather have them first focus on getting food. And I definitely need a guard. One, if not two. Um, here. Let me go up here. Alright, so let's first select ourselves a guard. We need a nighttime guard with slinger. On that side as well as on that side. They should take care pretty much of all of it. And then I need one daytime guard slinger. I think. But let's have a look how it goes. Um, then in here. We first need to get our science lab down. Because without it. We're going to have a bad time. Because we can't do any research. So I'll slap that right here in the corner for now. We need to make ourselves a crate and basically next to each job or each table I want to have a crate just to make sure that they don't have to walk until the end of the world to get the equipment they need. Um, grocery store colonists visited here once a day to gather food and happiness items. Awesome. Don't need that at the moment. What do we need though? 
nothing from here. Um, from here though, we need food. I need a berry farmer. Here and there. Now, I know it's not exactly in the middle, but it will have to do. And we will get the berries out of that soon. Alright, so now if we go to I colony, then we can here recruit to fill all beds or all jobs. We only have five jobs, so let's recruit to fill all jobs. Couldn't recruit a new colony, there's not enough free beds because we only have four beds. And we need five. Now, the berry farmers are straight guarding putting berry bushes down, which is great. Luckily enough, I have a couple of seeds as well, so I can help them out a little. Because I know they want to keep a space in between all of them, and I don't like that. Move. Alright, so it is any. Mm, let's not do that there. Let's do any, mini, mini, mo. Alright, so right click. Let's uh, produce infinite of the berry meals as well. They take eight berries each. It's quite a bit, but eight by eight. We should get some meals out of that, hopefully. Um, okay, so they're headed down here now. Get that all nice into there beds um if we go here into the colony menu we can manage the job so we can see what we have here we can set the balance um and then it will make sure that it nicely balances it out which means we only have one guard in the night at the moment which i think actually might be okay um i'd rather be on the safe side than on the sorry side because if they die then we are toasted no we're not we can just hire new ones but still It would be beneficial if they don't die. Alright, so bed in here. Look at that. So now we can actually recruit extra peoples. Now let's go up here and let's see if he's doing his job. I'm not really seeing anything. Oi oh, buddy, you having a quiet night? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so yeah, that is one ugly castle, but at least it's going to keep us alive for the start of this series. Or oh, at least it's going to keep us alive for the start of this series. And that's what we want, right? Yay, finally. I was going to say, I'm looking for a first zombie. So far, I didn't see one yet. Um, let's get ourselves a little bit of ammo as well. Catch. Sorry, I, that was to show you how to do it. Okay, guys. Now, with our first uh, zombie there, I think I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button. And then I'll see you guys back here for the next one, which is going to be episode number two of Colony Survival.